Hey guys, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly create a sitemap for an existing website using a free tool that's part of Google called Draw.io. Um, and the site we're going to be creating a sitemap for is Apple. We're not going to do the full site, but I'm going to show you the basics of how to create a framework for a sitemap. So I'm just going to start fresh. You can just go to draw.io and it's likely going to have you sign into your Google account. And we're going to create a new diagram. And we could go with one of these templates. There's tons of them available. But honestly, I find they take me longer to undo all the parts of the templates than it is to start from scratch. So I'm going to call this sitemap, actually app, apple-sitemap. And it creates an XML file by default. You can also do PNG, SVG, all those others. Asks if I want to create it in the root folder, which is basically the top level of my Google Drive. I'm going to say yes. So I've got this blank grid here. What I'm going to start with is a rectangle. And this is going to represent our home page. So I'm just going to type home and then hit enter. Well, and that's it. No need to hit anything. So this rectangle represents our first screen. So from here, we see the navigation as Mac, iPad, iPhone, watch, etc. So those are going to be my branches from here. So a quick, easy way to do that is you notice there's these really faded blue arrows. Go over one of those, hold the control key, and click on the arrow, and boom, it automatically creates a branch. And I don't even have to type enter or anything, I can just start typing. So I'm going to type Mac, and that's it. So now if I want another one coming from here, I'm going to hold control, click that arrow, and then I'm just going to drag it down so it's on the same row. And then I want this arm, or this whatever, this line coming down from here. So I'm going to drag it until it's right there. And there you go. And now I'm just going to click on this one and I'm going to call this one iPad. All right, same thing, hold control, click here, move down. And as you drag, there's these guides that show up. So notice how there's these little brackets between each rectangle. That makes sure that they're the same distance. Okay, so I do that. And then again, I'm going to drag this down to there. Click back on this. This one's going to be iPhone. All right. Now, I could click this arrow, but that's not going to do what I want. See, it's going to branch from here. I don't want that. So once again, drag it into place. Make sure the distance is right. Call this one watch. And I'm not going to do the rest of the pages because it'll just be repetitive at that point. So I could move this here. Then I have to move all of these as well, which I could. It's just kind of repetitive. But typically in a sitemap, they all come, it, it, it's centered from here. Okay, so. There are a few variations in terms of what you can do at this point with a sitemap. I like to branch down from each of these to represent the different sections of the page. So I'm going to go to the Mac page. And you'll notice it has several different uh, icons here representing different sections. So let's say I go to MacBook Air. Boom, it's got its own page. Ooh, with this beautiful, slick, animated web page. All right, so that's going to be one of my first branches. And again, this is a pretty complex site. If I were to do every single branch, it would get pretty complex. So I'm going to just do these major icons at the top. 
So I can just do again by holding control and clicking there. I'm going to call it MacBook Air. And then from there, I could branch off and do all the sections of that page, but I'm not going to. So I can just click that, press delete. And I could even move this over a little bit. So let's say the next one. would be MacBook Pro, 13 inch. And again, you can adjust these arrows so that it looks right. Um, totally up to you how you do this. So this is another way you can do it. That might look a little better, having it point to the side like that. And what would be nice if the arrow followed it. So there's a lot of different ways we can go about this. Um, Mac, book, pro, we'll just call this the iMac. Okay, so you get the point. I could, if I wanna be lazy, duplicate these and have these be the branches for the iPad. So if I were to go to the iPad page, it has the same type of navigation at the top. So let's say I have these nodes, but then I want to attach them. So I'm going to call this one iPad Pro, call this one iPad Air, call this one just iPad. So I can drag this and connect it like that. And I can just keep doing that for all of these. And then you just have to do a little cleanup. Okay, and there you have it. So I might just move these down. Of course these arrows don't come with them. But this is essentially how you structure a sitemap. So once you're done, you can share it in a number of ways. You can go to File, click Share. Um, and you could just basically share it with someone else with a Google account. Or you can do Export As. This is what I would prefer. Um, and then you just do As Image. So I'm going to export that as an image. Hit Fit. Have a retina. Okay. Oh, I think I did. Uh, let's try that one more time. Export as PNG. There we go. Zoom 100%. Include copy. Okay, export. And then it's asking where do I want to export it to? Um, I'll just export it to my device and it saved it. So I'm going to click on this and here it is. It saved it as an image file. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. That's how you make sitemaps.